This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The Prix de la Triomphe. One more four, Group 1, three rolls and up. This is the biggest race of the season over the classic distances. Blood Harvest for Leon Van Rensburg. Iconoclast Zeal for Steve Rand. Vianna Do Costello for Dee Thompson. Brother in Arms for Leon Van Rensburg. Omega Girl for Paul O'Neill. Sin Script for Grey. The 4 to 1 favourite. Asari Nayan for Paul Rose. George Formby for David Lowe. Pacific Pet for Seabeck. Phantom for Paul Rose. Bella Donna for Joshua Sullivan. Kangastan Arcea for Dee Thompson. No Reason at All Lee for David Lowe. Rosie Mary and Task anal Analysis for Hems. And they are off for the Arc de Triumph. We've got classic winners. We've got Group 1 winners spread all over the place here. This is the one they all want. And this could have huge ramifications for the title race here today as Sin Script for Graham Clutterbuck takes it up in the Arc de Triomphe Sin Script from Viana do Costello Belladonna in third now it's interesting here Belladonna normally has her own way but this time the three in front I'm not going to let her do that and there's a pack there's a big pack of them in behind as they let the three in front go clear in the arc, it's Sin Script on the rail with Viana do Costello, Belladonna sitting in third, Iconoclast Deal in fourth, Brother in Arms fifth, Phantom in sixth, out wide we've got Blood Harvest and I think that's, is that a task analysis? Yep, task analysis outside on the rail is George Formby, Rosie Mary in the middle, there's Pacific Pet, also Kangas Del Narcia. At the back at the moment is Omega Girl, No Risen at All Leaf, and Asari Nayan being ridden along already for Paul Rose. As they come down to the six furlong point in the Pre de l'Arc de Triomphe, it's Sin Script in front by about half a length to Viana do Costello. Bella Donna has been sitting cosily in third the whole way around. Brother in Arms is in fourth, Iconoclast Steel five, G George Formby in six, Rosie Mary has now been ridden along as well. Blood Harvest travelling well with Phantom in the middle. Um, task analysis, Kangas down last year, they're all still there as they go down to the four furlong point in the Pre de l'Arc de Triomphe. And now there's some big moves here. Sin Script is in front, Belladonna starting to push, so it's Phantom Blood Harvest. They're all starting to push Kangas down last year, making some ground in the middle as well. But it's Sin Script taking them round the bend towards home in the Pre de l'Arc de Triomphe. And Sin Script is still in front, Blood Harvest is coming wide and coming through the gaps is Brother in Arms. But it's still Sin Script in front by about a length. And Sin Script kicks off the bend in the Pre de l'Arc de Triomphe from Phantom who's come out of the pack. It's Sin Script from the Derby winner, Phantom. Coronation Cup winner from Derby winner. Here they go. The final furlongs approaching in the Pre de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's Sin Script. Phantom takes it up the pole roads just. Campus Del Narcia is also there. But it is now Sin Script on the rail. They're deep inside the final furlong. The Leon Van Rensburg for Tanya are charging. It's Brother in Arms from Blood Harvest. It's a 1-2 for Van Rensburg. Brother in Arms wins the arc. Brother in Arms wins the arc. The triumph. Unbelievable finish. The Leon Van Rensburg horses flew home at the end. And Brother in Arms is your 66-1 winner of the pre de arc The Triumph. A huge turnover here. And a huge turnover in the... The Trainers' Championship as Brother in Arms and Blood Harvest walk away with 3.7 million for Leon Van Rensburg. Brother in Arms, Willie Buick, seven-year-old mare, 66 to one winner of the pre lot the Triumph. Blood Harvest was second for the same trainer at 13 to two. Phantom was third at 11 to one, and that five to two favourite Sin Script, unlucky there, Grey ran a massive race, just couldn't keep up with those fast finishers.